everybody. It's Rox and this is I'm coming to you today on location again. I'm in my car and I am on my lunch break and I am in my parking lot at work. So let's hope that I can make it through this review without somebody coming tapping on my window asking me what I'm doing. Okay, so this is going to be review number six. Actually, the video that I did last week was review number five and I thought it was episode four. I don't know, somewhere I lost count. So this is now number six, which is the continuation from last week. It's just I was off on my number, so y'all just kind of give me one on that one, okay? <clears throat> so let's get to it, shall we? Okay, so Tasha is at the Sunbeam meeting, and she is bragging on the fact that Rick Fox wants, Rick Fox wants to meet her and take her out um, for dinner. And so she does what many of us women have done in the past, and that is made plans to meet him for no other reason than to show off how much she's got it going on since he left her. The bad part about it is that she lied to little baby Terrence, and um, <laughs> what about when she went up to the house and he was working on the fire? Was he working on the fireplace or something? And she went up to him and he was all scrawny with the, the, the chest. Okay. I'm going to need for little baby Terrence to put his shirt back on. Why do you not have on your clothes? No. No, we need to put the shirt back on. But men, do you work on your fireplace without a shirt on? I didn't really understand it. I mean, what if you get on some of the little rocks or the little, you know, burnt wood chips or something. And, you know, you get your back all scratched up and stuff. I mean, anyway. Um, so she goes to the restaurant and, and Rick Fox is not there yet and she's waiting and waiting and then this man walks up and you think it's going to be Rick Fox and it's little baby Terrence. And little baby Terrence is real, real hurt over the fact that she lied to him, didn't tell him that he was she was meeting uh, Rick Fox, and he basically told her that he was through. He gave her back his key, I mean he gave her back her key, and he left. And I feel so sorry for Tasha because, you know, that is a molded feeling. You know, I do feel like she wasn't necessarily going to try to do anything with Rick Fox. I feel sorry for Tasha. Didn't you feel sorry for Tasha? I was just like, oh, her and little baby Terrence done broke up. Okay, so this week, Melanie is in charge of the sunbeams. And, uh... You know, uh, Kelly, who used to be the big time Sunbeam girl, is now out of it because she's not married to Jason Pitts anymore. But you can tell that she misses it. She brings her reality show to, to Melanie's house and uh, tries to get in on the meeting. Um, and, you know, for the most part, Melanie was happy to see her. And, you know, they had a good time talking and everything. But you could tell that the other Sunbeams wasn't really feeling her. The Sunbeams all go out and... Kelly wants to come and she's trying to get in free at the club where all the sunbeams are and she's text messaging Melanie to ask her to get her in and Melanie succumbs to peer pressure of the other sunbeams and um, does not want to let her come and sit in the VIP with them. And I thought that was really, really jacked up of Melanie because this is your girl. You know, regardless of what's going on with the guys, Regardless of these new sunbeam chicks that you guys are sitting with, this is your girl. If for any other reason your homegirl is hanging out with you at the club, why, how are you going to play her like that? Okay, so you pull her in, and then you just totally mean girl her to death by telling her the way, even though what she said was needed to be said, but it's like the way you say it, like, I'm not going to pull my, have my homegirl, me and my girlfriends out, and I'm going to tell my girlfriend in that way that you look like a hoe, you uh, are ridiculous, blah, 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 blah. You know, I'm going to tell her as a friend when we are out or we just sitting at the house or I'm talking to her on the phone, I'm not going to put her on blast at a club like that and just put her out there like that. I think Melanie... I'm telling you, I don't like, I just don't like, I mean, I've never been a big Melanie fan, but this time I really don't like it. I think it's because of the whole snob uh, effect that they have. And, you know, you guys, I don't like snobs. I cannot stand a person that thinks that they are better than someone else. I don't care if that person has all of the money in the world. They are a regular human being just like anybody else. I do not like a snob. 
And I think that's why I've got this problem with Melanie because she, they have really made her become this privileged, mm, just, I just don't know. I just, I don't like it. So I, I don't have nothing else to say about Melanie and, Dur and, and, and Melanie. I just don't have nothing else to say about it. Now, y'all, I just don't know what to say about this whole Malik situation. Malik is at the rehab, and last week when he was all like this, we've gone from that to now he's tough boy Malik again. So he's at the meeting, and he's talking about, you know, he he doesn't believe that he has a problem, which is fine, because a lot of people don't believe that they do, especially when they were forced to go, and it wasn't their decision really to go, you know, to rehab. He checks himself out of rehab. He talks to this girl, and the girl, you know, basically gives him the brush off. And he's just like, oh, well, I'm Malik. And I, he checks himself out, and he's partying, and he's having a good time. But, y'all, can we talk about the whole big thing in the bathroom at the club? <laughs> so, Jason and Derwin have a come-to-Jesus meeting in the bathroom with, with Malik. And... When he decided that he didn't have a problem, he was never going back to rehab and went into the bathroom stall, that, y'all, I'm telling y'all, that just did it for me. That did it for me. Why are you running in the bathroom stall, though? I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> you got to come out eventually. It's just, it was stupid. And, you know, the talk, they didn't say anything that was really all that heart changing so all of a sudden he decides he's gonna go you know oh, y'all I'm just I just can't stand the show this week okay the good of the show is Tasha and little baby Terrence I think they are the most realistic couple on the show I think out of all of the actors on the show little baby Terrence is doing the best which is just unreal to me and then the bad is everything else you know I know it's BT and I know it's not as much money and all that but I need the storyline everything to gel a little bit better you know I need the characters to stay the true to themselves to make a little bit more sense I need them to act the same every week I need just more <sighs> y'all didn't like the show I just didn't like it but anyway, that's it, you guys. I got to get back to work. I'm on my lunch break, and I made it through without nobody coming knocking on the window. And if you can see the glisten on my face, I'm starting to sweat. It's hot in here. It's like 65 degrees in Atlanta today. Can you believe it? Rate, comment, subscribe. Big blinking word. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And then, you guys, even if you don't subscribe, just come back every week and visit with me. Until next time, rock stars. Bye.